in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you and I worship you. I glorify you, Lord. As I share your word, use me as a vessel of honor to be a blessing to your people. And as you bless them, do not pass me by. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to thee. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus from the hairs of my head to the toes of my feet, even for this media platform, against every attack of the enemy that bring confusion and dist distraction that waste time. I claim this to be a holy ground and holy moment as I share your word. Take over. And the, at the end of it all, you receive all the glory and all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Welcome to One Word TV. I am your presenter, Pastor Florence Minor of the program Celebrate Your Moment with Joy. I'm broadcasting live all the way from Minnesota, USA, and this is a production of One Word Digital Media. The title of my message today will be Misunderstood for your seal for God, it's okay. My verses of reference will be from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 1. I'm going to read verse 12 to 14 from New King James Fashion in Jesus' name. And it happened as she continued praying before the Lord that Eri watched her mouth. Now Hannah spoke in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eri thought she was drunk. So Eri said to her, How long would you be drunk? Put away, put your wine away from you. May the Lord bless his word. Hannah, we all know if you read from the beginning of that chapter, was the wife of Ericana. And the Bible says that the Lord had crossed her womb not. And her husband, who was also a servant of God, must have married Penina because Hannah was not bearing children. But I want to thank God that this woman, after being so down, being despised so much by the co wife Penina, who had children, I can only imagine that maybe sometimes Hannah would call those children of Hannah, can I send you to go buy me a sort of something? Maybe Penina would look at her and ask her, why can't you get your own? But I want to thank God that her weeping did not last forever. A time came that she could not be comforted by any man, by anybody except the Lord. Because at some point, as she continued to be of raw continence and, 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 and feeling down, the husband asked her, am I not more than ten sons to you? And I tried to wonder, if that was the case, why did he have to marry Penina? There are many times that men and women of God will speak like they are for us, but inside them and their intention is contrary. And we should not blame them is because they are human and they are limited. It reached a time that Hannah had to make a decision when she could not be comforted anymore. She purposed, she determined to go to the house of God and cry to God. And as she was crying there in the temple, there in the altar, she is speaking to the Lord in her heart. Her voice was not being heard, but her lips were moving as she was deep in prayer. Hmm. There comes another being misunderstood by a great man of God, Eri, who was serving in the temple. And after watching this lady, I don't hear her speaking. I only see her lips moving. What's wrong with her? And he dared to ask her, how long are you going to be drunk? Put away your wine. It's only early in the morning. God, can you imagine? You are going to a place where you think you're going to be encouraged in the house of God and their discouragement there by the one you should be looking for to, up to 
to give you counsel or encourage you or pray for you. My brother and my sister, let you trust the Lord alone so that even when the hardest time comes, you are not going to give up, you are not going to rely on those people who are discouraging you, but you are going to rely on he who has called you. So have you been misunderstood because of your zeal of serving the Lord? It is okay. Ask me. I have so many stories of being misunderstood. But you know what? What matters is my relationship with the Lord and what I have purpose to serve, to do for the Lord. May God help you, my brother, my sister, that when you are misunderstood, you know, say, I'm going to leave that work of God. Let me tell you, nobody called you. It is God who called you. I thank God that God has called me. <laughs> As I do this work of God, I hear a lot and I see a lot. But, and it's okay. God has given us the ears. He has given the people the mouth to talk. You cannot prevent them. The God, same God who gives you the, the ability to hear is the same God who will give you the wisdom and the patience to bear when you hear those pricking words that are discouraging. You cannot hear discouraging words more than this woman did. This is a servant of God who is serving in the house of God who is misunderstanding her. Wow. So Eli said to her, how long will you be drunk? Have you been asked? How long are you going, go, going to continue waiting for the Lord? How, for how long are you going to keep on going, going for the Lord? For how long are you going to be paying this ticket going here and there? Continue doing it, my brother, my sister. God who has called you is faithful. He'll never, never start something and leave it undone. He who has started the good work in you will bring it to accomplishment. How about in your parenting, are people wondering, mm, her children, their children? It's okay. By the way, our children are not our children. They belong to God, but he gives us the assignment to bring them into the world. So even as you have those children who are doing whatever they are doing, no, weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. Be encouraged. Your time is coming. Oh, Hannah being despised by the co-wife, being misunderstood by the greatest man of God of the hour at that time in that house of God did not prevent the miracle of God to come because when she was humble to respond to Eri that she was not drunk but to pouring her heart before the Lord this man must have been charged by her wisdom and said may the Lord fulfill to you what you have desired guess what after Hannah went back hmm God performed a miracle. There could be that charge in life that have made you so discouraged, so stressed out. And it is only going to take your step of courage irrespective of the discouragement and bam, the Lord will make a way. Hannah, later on after that, conceived and bore the son, not only a son, a special one, Samuel, who became the greatest prophet in all Israel. God is waiting for that man and woman of God who is going to bear the burden, who is going to bear the being despised and seek God irrespective of being misunderstood to bring up a Samuel in their lives, a Samuel of serving God, a Samuel of that ministry that will transform many lives, a Samuel who will make that marriage stand when it seems like it's in locust ground because our God specializes in restoration. God has the best for you. If only you don't give up when you have been despised from your Jerusalem, that's okay. Hannah was by the core wife. It's okay. It doesn't matter who is looking down on you. What matters is your relationship with the Lord and the action you're going to take. May God help you to take that action like the one that Hannah took. When you are misunderstood, continue doing what you are doing. Don't be feel bad about those people who are misunderstanding you. They are on a mission to take you to the other level, to a higher level. The greater the problem, the greater the miracle. Let's not give up. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name. For that person who is going through a situation like Hannah, may they hold on because you are coming. As they are focused on you, oh God Almighty, you are in the business of blessing them, Lord. And there will be a blessing to many in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You are there, you have never trusted the Lord. It all starts with a personal relationship with the Lord.
You want to make that decision. You want to pray this prayer after me to serve the Lord as your Savior. Lord Jesus, I come before you. I repent of my sin. I've gone through a lot and I'm not going to concentrate on the discouragement. I come now to you. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. Behold, the old is gone and the new has come. Walk in the newness of life. I would advise you to look for a church nearby where you live that preaches the full gospel without compromise for your spiritual growth. When you go there, go beyond the Sunday service. Look, the programs that are there, the meetings that are there, because we thrive in fellowship of other brethren, where you can share the word of God, uh, chew it together like a cow chews the card, and you'll be able to grow. When you grow, you do not want just to stay idle. There is no idleness and courage in the kingdom of God. Be a participant. There is something you can do. Remember, you do not have to be the pastor. You do not have to be a nasher. You do not have to be an elder of the church, but you can be that person in action you can be praying nobody will prevent you to intercede for that church and god will bless you until next time you can continue to listen to this message and other messages by different anointed servants of god in three ways first by dialing 605-781-3266 that uh, second way search one one binaco radio and the last one download the app one one digital media which is free from your prayer store and you'll be blessed 24 7 free of charge when you are blessed be a blessing to other people i also want to remind you to subscribe to our channel of celebrate your moment and you'll be blessed i have an announcement september 14th it will be on a saturday it's a month from now celebrate your moment with joy we'll be having a meeting we normally have this meeting every three months the theme is from Psalms 30, verse 5, that weeping may endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. You are welcome. It's going to be held in my home church, or oh, Grace Fellowship, Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. It's going to be upstairs, room 268. Come, we'll be blessed together. Time is 3 to 6.30 p.m. I can't just wait to see you there. If you can't come, pray for us, because prayer does not know any distance. God bless you.